you guys welcome back to my channel I hope you're having a wonderful day today in today's video I am gonna unfortunately be sharing with you the luxury handbags in my collection that I have not reached for in months I think I did a video recently about this and it was luxury items I'm not reaching for it was a tag video but I thought in this one I wanted to focus on handbags and I have quite a few maybe like nine bags I think that when I go in my closet, no matter what I'm wearing, I just do not seem to reach for them. And it's not that these bags are bad because a lot of these bags, I'm looking at them and I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys are going to be shocked with some of these. Some of these I might consider selling. Some of these I'm going to hold on to and I'll never sell. But I definitely want to try to make an effort to incorporate more of these pieces into my outfits try to reach for them more because they are all great bags and people rave about them so I just need to add them into the rotation but I thought that I would share with you the handbags that I haven't been reaching for and kind of tell you why I haven't been reaching for them so that way if you guys are on the fence about these bags I can kind of give you a little bit of insight as to my thoughts on it so without further ado if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and if you want to hear the handbags I'm just not reaching for it then keep watching okay guys before I get into the video I am so excited to be partnering once again with Ana Luisa on this portion of the video if you guys are longtime subscribers of mine you know that I have partnered with them multiple times in the past I love their jewelry I have gotten friends family members co-workers everyone you can think of turned on to these I'm particularly partial to their layered necklaces I know you guys have heard me talk about their layered necklaces before but I love their jewelry because not only is their jewelry chic but it's also affordable all of their pieces start at $39 and they are carbon neutral which means they're good for the environment and who doesn't love that if you go to their website they have over 25,000 positive reviews and I specifically wanted to mention these jewelry items now because Valentine's Day is coming up so you can either treat yourself treat that special someone in your life and I want you guys to be able to take advantage of the seal sale that they're having they're having a huge Valentine's Day sale which is buy one get one 50% off that's right you heard me right buy one get one 50% off so like usual I will put the link down below they have a ton of pieces to choose from and I also want to mention they do offer international shipping which is huge so I have a few new pieces that I wanted to share starting with these earrings right here these are called the Estrella earrings and I love these because they're very very dainty but they pair nicely with like layered necklaces they actually pair nicely with anything and I like these because they can be a little more casual or you can kind of dress them up a little more so these are cubic zirconia studs and they are dipped in 14 karat gold and I love these because they pair very well with the necklace I'm wearing as well so let's move to the next piece it is is this necklace right here and this is called the river necklace I love this because it's a very sophisticated looking necklace dipped in 14 karat gold and the really really cool thing I think that this pairs really nicely with these earrings you can wear the necklace alone or as you can see I do have the necklace layered with other necklaces as well and the one cool thing about this necklace is it comes with a necklace extender as well so that way you can wear it at any length that you like so this one is beautiful so let's move on to these next two once again would it be an amber video without including layered necklaces you guys know those are my jam I love layered necklaces so these two necklaces they come um, together and this is called the Lynn set and these are very very dainty so once again you can wear them alone you can wear them together or you can layer them with another necklace like I have it layered here with the um, river necklace these are delicate and dipped in 14 karat gold they are just so beautiful and it just gives your outfit something extra like you can see I'm just wearing like a basic tee and I have a cardigan but these necklaces paired together I feel like they just look so nice and you can wear something like this to work you can wear it casual 
So these are beautiful. And then the final item that I wanna share is this little beauty right here. This is the initial necklace, and I actually do already own this. I have the initial S for Skylar, which is my daughter's name, and I thought, well, you know what? I should probably get an A for Amber as well. This is classic and timeless. Everybody needs an initial necklace, an initial pendant in their collection. And this is sterling silver, but it's dipped in 14 karat gold. Once again, you can wear this necklace alone, or you can also layer it. I actually thought about adding it here. I thought that would look nice as well. But their pieces are absolutely beautiful, so stunning. Again, if you're not into necklaces, they have earrings, they have dangle earrings, they have stud earrings, layered necklaces, single necklaces, they have bracelets, they have rings. I, of course, am partial to their layered necklaces. Those are my favorite. I think I might actually have almost every single layered necklace and every time I wear them I get compliments. So if you guys are looking for a special gift to treat yourself or for that special someone in your life, definitely check out the deal they're having. Again, their website is buy one get one 50% off so definitely click on the link below. So without further ado, let's get right into the luxury handbags I'm just not reaching for. Okay guys, some of these bags are gonna sting a little bit. They really are. And you know, some of them I'm gonna keep, some of them I'm considering selling. So if you guys have an interest in any of these bags, serious inquiries, feel free to reach out to me and um, maybe we can work something out. But the first bag I am not reaching for, I've actually only worn it once. That's right, one time is this YSL Reeve Gauche Tote. Now this, you cannot deny the chicness of this bag. I wore this with a black dress and then I had some Stuart Weitzman um, sandals that I thought paired well with this. I just thought this would be such like a great bag. First off, I have to say I don't reach for it because it is way too big. Look how big this is, like for an everyday bag. I mean, look, it like I'm like sinking in comparison next to it. So A, it's too big for an everyday bag. So then you think, okay, well, then maybe let's use it for travel. I don't reach for it for travel because I reach for my Louis Vuitton Neverfull and the GM size in the canvas because that it's easy to wipe. You don't get st things stuck to it, which leads me to my next point. I don't know if you can tell, I've worn this bag once. My dog's hair sticks to this and things stick to this bag. And even your fingerprints, like do you see the bottom? That's just like fingerprints. Like if you have like makeup on your fingers, it just gets stuck to it. So again, some people love this bag and I still do love the look of the bag, the black one. And then there's also a beautiful white one. But I'd recommend if you're gonna get this, Definitely consider using it as like maybe a pool bag. I don't know if you go to Miami or something. I don't really go to Miami much. And then if I do have a pool bag here, I wouldn't take this one to my pool. And then for travel, I maybe I need to try to start using it. But again, I always just go back to my Neverfull. And again, for an everyday bag, it is just way too big for an everyday bag. So as beautiful as I think this bag is, you guys, I. I just don't think I should have purchased it because I have not used it. So this is another bag that I definitely am consider selling. Um, I, I do also have an organizer on the inside. I have the dust bag and everything. So I'm considering selling it, but I'm still kind of on the fence. Okay, another bag that I have not reached for in a while, actually, this has been, and, and I, I would say I use this one more than the others I'm going to mention, but I just have not reached for it in a while, and it is my Burberry, this is my Burberry Hobo bag. Now, this is a bag I'm probably never going to sell because this was one of the first luxury bags I ever bought. It is the Burberry Nova Check Hobo, and I don't know if they really even make this type of print anymore, but I loved it because back in the day I was super into patent leather and you know hobo bags were in. And this is such a great bag, but the reason I don't reach for it that much is you know that a lot of times when I wear outfits I love color, right? And this bag kind of pairs better with like a more neutral outfit. Um, I do wear this if I wear like red pants to work or I have like red joggers. So there are certain outfits that it will pair with, but if I don't wear those particular outfits, I never reach for it. Now it's a great bag, but once again, it is a shoulder bag and I gravitate a lot more towards crossbody bags. So I think that's another thing that plays into me not wearing it. Now I got this bag years ago from Bloomingdale's back when Burberry was included in coupons. So this bag, I want to say it was like $700. And then I had a coupon 
from Blooming Dows that I could use. It was like a friends and family. Now they have since excluded Burberry, but I got this for such a good deal and it is in such good condition. So I really don't think I will sell this. I have had some of you reach out to me about it, but it's just a bag that unfortunately I haven't worn, but I definitely need to incorporate it more into my wardrobe. Okay, I don't know if you guys are gonna be surprised by this, I'm not sure, but the next bag I wanna mention that I never, and when I say never, I never reach for it. I don't know if I've reached for this, it's been months, but it is my YSL Lulu bag in the medium size. <sighs> I do have a lot of black bags, you guys know that. So a lot of times if I'm going to work, I will reach for my envelope bag, my YSL envelope bag in the gold hardware. If I'm looking for a black bag with silver hardware, a lot of times I will reach for my Chanel Classic Flap. This one, once again, you know I like to wear crossbody bags. This one is really bulky if you wear it crossbody, and it's even bulky when you wear it over the shoulder. Like, it is a good bag. I, I don't want to give you the wrong impression, but I just, for whatever reason, I don't reach for it. And I definitely need to. I have mentioned one thing that bothers me with this Lulu bag. You can see I even still have the blue sticker. It has this center compartment, which I really don't like. I have complained about that with a lot of the YSL bags. I wish this wasn't here. Some people like it because it keeps some more items secure with the zip part, but I just wish this I just wish this wasn't there because it would create more space. Now, like I said, this is a beautiful bag. It really is. I think I purchased this back when it was like under 2000. Now it's close to 3000, which is crazy. My bag is in immaculate condition. So I don't know if it's because it's like puffy and it's just a little large, but I definitely prefer to take the small size out. I do have the small size in the uh, Poudre color. And if I do go for black, I have so many other black bags that I reach for over this. So it's just kind of sad because again, you guys, anyone who owns this bag knows this is such a good one, but I think because I have a lot of other black bags in my collection, that's one of the reasons I just don't reach for it. But I'm really sad to add that to the list, but it's on there. Okay. Oh, this next bag, you guys, you guys are gonna be like, what, are you serious? Oh my goodness, I think I have worn this bag one time since I purchased it, and I'm embarrassed to say, but it is the it is the Louis Vuitton Never Full in the MM size, and it is beautiful. It's in the Damia Eben. It has the beautiful rose ballerine interior. I have an organizer. I, it also comes with a pouch. Let me explain. Okay, so here's my whole thought process on it. You guys know I love crossbody bags. That's what I gravitate towards. I just think crossbody bags are easy. Um, and then I just don't reach for totes. That's the, that's like the main reason I just don't reach for totes. But also if I do reach for the Neverfull, a lot of times it'll be the GM size and I use that for travel. But I will say this is a good work bag as well. So if you're someone that goes into the office, it is good. It, this one's a little more understated because it doesn't have the LV logo all over it. So people who aren't into luxury bags might not really know the Damier, what the Damier Ben represents. It, it definitely fits a lot and this is a good bag. But like I said, my main reason is I just don't reach for totes. Um, I think if I was going into the office more, um, maybe I would reach for it more, but you can see I've worn this once. So, but this is one of those bags that I think that if I started using it, like just put all my stuff in it, that I would enjoy it and I would take it out a lot. It's just a matter of, I really tried to, since I am a little bit of a handbag collector, I like to use my bags and I reach for all of my other bags with the exception of these. If I go into my closet and I'm like, what bag am I going to carry today? This is just not one that I reach for. But again, it is beautiful and it became available and I got it before the price increase. So I was super excited about it. Um, I also like the fact that it doesn't have any vachetta. So I definitely think this is out of a lot of the bags I mentioned, this is one that I'm going to try to incorporate more into the rotation because I think it would be super functional. I just have to push myself to use it. Okay. You guys have heard this one before. I'm going to sound like a broken record, but I will never ever sell it. It is my speedy in the 35. You guys have heard this story. I saved my money. This was my very, very first 
Louis Vuitton purchase. The Speedy 35, not the bandolier, the regular version in the Damier Eben. You can see even the, the lock is like no longer shiny. It's tarnished a bit. Um, this bag is so old, but it is still in great condition. I recently did get, I do have a bag organizer to keep it a little structured. Now, this bag I mentioned to you guys that I feel like I should have gotten the bandolier version. The bandolier is actually still kind of on my wish list. I feel like if I got the bandolier version, it would be super functional and I would use it more. But because this doesn't have a strap and because it's just a top handle, I don't reach for it because I find that it has a tendency to get really heavy when I put my things in it. And it's just not super user friendly in my opinion. The handles are a little harder and so when it does get heavy it's just it's uncomfortable. And you guys I like to have my hands free when I'm shopping or I'm out and about. I don't want to worry about having to carry like a heavy bag. So I will never sell this. I bought this bag for $700 and it is now what like almost 1700 So I will never sell this. It's very special to me. So this is another one I will hopefully incorporate into my collection but I do kind of wish that I would have purchased the bandolier version. I think if I did, I would have um, worn it more. But actually, I don't know if the bandolier version was, was it available? I don't know if it was available when I purchased this because I got this so long ago. It might have been. Maybe I just couldn't get it. But anyway, this is my first purchase. I was so excited to get it. I actually did have this bag, just um, quick FYI. I had this. After I got this one, I got it in the Damier Azur, and it actually ended up selling that one. I sold that one to Fashion File. But um, this one I just can't part with because it was my first purchase from Louis Vuitton so it's very special to me. Hey, the next bag I want to mention is oh so beautiful. Like this next bag is so stunning. I have considered getting another one but yet in a different size and that might actually give it away. It is my Lady Dior. Can we just Take a moment to admire the beauty. Hold on a second, my hand is getting tired because that's one problem with this bag, it is so heavy. But it is so beautiful. This has, this is in lambskin, it has the canage, it's got the little Dior charm, which by the way, my Dior charm, um, it definitely has tarnished a bit. Um, it does have feet on the bottom. This is in the large size. Now, this bag, I actually purchased this. This was one of my, I think it was one of my first purchases on Fashion File. I got this bag for like $1,300. It was in great condition. But I would recommend, so Dior bags are very expensive, but they don't really do well on the resale market. So my recommendation to you, if you're looking to buy this bag, check out Fashion File because they have, and I will link a couple options below, they have a lot of different sizes and you can get a really good deal. Like I said, this is the large size. I got it for $1,300 in the black. and. This looks so good if you go into the office, just like if you're wearing a suit. Princess Diana obviously made this um, famous, but the problem with this bag is, I've mentioned before, the handles, oh my gosh, when you wear it on the crook of your arm, it is so heavy. Like this bag is heavy even when I don't have anything in it. Plus, you can see the zipper there, it is lambskin. So getting into this bag, I have scratched it with my nail. It's kind of a pain to get into and the strap, that comes with it is really really thin. I definitely wish the strap was a little more substantial um, and I have actually considered getting another one. Again you know I love crossbody bags and there is one I tried on in Vegas. It was the most beautiful pink. I was so close to getting it but you guys like the idea of like spending like four thousand dollars on a Dior bag I was just kind of eh. I, I don't feel as bad spending money on like Louis Vuitton or Chanel because I know the resale value is a little better. So in the event I ever did want to resell those bags, I could probably get my money's worth. But Dior, for some reason, it's not the best in the resale market. So I just, I didn't know if I wanted to, you know, take the plunge on that. It was so beautiful though. But this bag is pretty, but it's heavy. Um, it's delicate. And again, I like crossbody bags, so I just think I might have picked the wrong size, but I will tell you, 
I have to say something positive. Not, this bag looks so pretty when you're dressed up, I think. Like if you have like a pencil skirt on or you have a business outfit, it just looks really nice. So this is another bag I don't think I'd ever sell, not only because it's a classic, but also I got such a good deal on it. But I just, I don't reach for it. Plus I'm not going to the office, so what am I gonna do? Take this to the grocery store? I mean, I guess I could, but I don't really have like um, an appropriate outfit that it goes with. So this is another bag that is beautiful, but I'm just not reaching for it. Okay, the next bag is by Balmain. Now this bag is a bag I would usually reach for because it is a camera style bag and it is a crossbody bag. This bag is so cute. Balmain Paris, it's white, it has the black trim. I wore this with a black dress one time, but you guys, because it is a white bag, I just, and because of the like material, it's almost like a burlap material, I'm like terrified of color transfer, so I just don't reach for it. Plus, I feel like, obviously you can wear your bags however you like, but I feel like this doesn't pair well with a lot of my outfits. So for, again, this is a bag, it um, is functional, it's actually the same size, if you remember the little YSL, uh, not the kit, it's the YSL Lou bag. It's like the smaller one. It's about the same size, so it's very comparable to that. And it's a lot more affordable. I got this bag, I think from Farfetch for like under a thousand dollars. So it's really, really cute. And you guys know my obsession with the Balmain t-shirts or the Balmain sweatshirts. I love that look. So I was excited to get a bag. So I just have to figure out a way to style this a little better because I do think this would look cute actually with a pair, like a white tee and a pair of jeans that might look nice. So again, this video is going to help me too because it's going to kind of make me try to think of ways to incorporate these bags into my daily life. But this is a bag I do think would be functional, but I just haven't reached for it. Okay. The next bag, should we call it a bag? It's basically a, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to Consider it a bag. It might be more of like a small other good, but I'm gonna call it a bag because I've worn it as a bag. And it is this little Burberry, it's it's considered like a phone case, but it does have a strap. Now this I think was kind of like an impulse buy because it was one of those deals where I had a gift card from Saks Fifth Avenue that I had gotten. Um, I had purchased the bag and I ended up getting like a $400 gift card. So I put it towards this because um, I was like, I want to get something different and I thought this would be really cute. Now why I thought I should get this when I wasn't reaching for this print, I don't know what I was thinking because you guys, I love Burberry, but I'm just, I don't reach for the print unless, because I'm funny, I'm particular, unless I have like a certain outfit on or certain colors. Like I like this with white, black, red. I think it pairs really nicely. Of course you can wear it with however you want, but for me personally, I don't reach for it. Plus this little thing, this should not even be here. It is a pain in the butt. So when I do put stuff in, I always have to like open this little tab, get things out. My phone will fit in there, maybe a card holder, but you really can't fit much in there at all. There is a place on here if you wanna put credit cards, but you guys, the leather is so delicate that if you try to get your credit cards in and out, you will for sure scratch it on the first try. So I have not used, I think I tried to put my cards in there once, so it is still in pretty good condition. But this is super cute, super convenient. It has a strap, the strap is adjustable. I will insert a pic of me wearing it, but this little tab, kind of bothers me. The fact that you can only fit a phone and a card holder. I just, I just don't reach for it. I also don't reach for it because of like the colors, you know, I'm more so of just like a, I grab like a black bag or I grab one of my Louis Vuitton monogram bags, that type of thing. So this is a cute little guy. I actually still have the sticker on here. Look at that. I still have like the sticker on here as well, but anyway, cute little bag, but I think it was an impulse buy because I just don't reach for it. Okay guys, this next bag, when this is the final bag I'm gonna mention, I have to say that I love this bag and this bag is so functional and I have I have featured this in so many videos, like actually I think it was like my best tiny bag video and I mean it, but we are talking about bags that I'm not reaching for and it is this little guy, this little Gucci super mini. First off, how cute is this? It is black. It has the Gucci logo. It has the little heart on the back, so it'll be perfect for Valentine's Day. This bag, I wore it with like a dress and boots. I also think this would be a good like date night bag. 
It is such a functional little bag. It really is. And let me show you. Um, on the inside, it definitely it fits a good amount. And I've done a ton of videos on it. It also has this chain. It's not adjustable, but it is removable. So you can remove this. You can either wear it as like a crossbody, long shoulder, or you can remove this and wear it as a clutch. So, it, and it also has this little d-ring on the inside so you can include your keys or you can kind of attach it to a larger bag if you wanted so again i don't have anything negative to say about this bag it is a super super functional bag and i mean it but i just have not reached for it and, and i don't know if it's because when i do go on date nights i reach for my Chanel bag or if I go to like a special occasion I reach for my YSL bag you know my little YSL clutches I have a black one I think that is what it is because I have a black one or I'll reach for my Chanel um, medium classic flap this is so cute I need to wear this more but again I'm not really going into the office either and when I do just run errands or run around town I just wouldn't reach for a bag so again this is a prime example of a bag that is super functional super cute um, it's actually inexpensive for a luxury bag, inexpensive for a luxury bag, more affordable than, than most, and it comes in a lot of colors, but it's a bag I'm not reaching for, so this is another one I need to add into the rotation. Okay, guys, there you have it. Those are the bags in my collection that I am just not reaching for. Some of these bags, you might be shocked. Some of these bags, I'm shocked, and I need to tell myself, Amber, these are great bags. You need to reach for them. So let me know your thoughts. Are there any bags in your collection that you love but you just are not reaching for? I would love to hear it. And you guys, with Valentine's Day coming up, make sure to click on the link in the description down below for Anna Luisa. They have a ton of great pieces, including their layered necklaces. And I would love to have you guys take advantage of the buy one, get one 50% off offer that they are currently running on their website. All the details are down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.